Hi, my name is Jin Gim Min, and I'm going to present about the poster. And my topic is um, effects of microwave sintering and argon plasma treatment in the chain oxide nanofiber electrode from on flexible fully emitted substrate. In brief, about my experiment, enhancing the enhancing the electrical performance of indium chain oxide nanofibers using high efficiency microwave crystallization and plasma argon plasma treatment. And here is a device fabrication flow. First, cleaning on glass with silicon nitride PEN substrate were ultrasonically clean using a standard RCA cleaning. Second, on the substrate, uh, indium tin oxide nanofibers were electrospun by the electrospinning method using ITO precursor solution. And third, uh, calcining process using conventional furnace and microwave. And last, uh, argon plasma treatment for phase modification of fibers. In, elect in electrical property part, figure 2 of, of A shows sheet resistance of conventional furnace and B shows microwave bundling calcine ITO nanofibers treated with oxygen and argon plasma. When we apply the oxygen plasma, the sheet resistance increases. However, when you apply argon plasma, the sheet resistance decreases. For comparison, conventional furnace and microwave calcination we confirm that the sheet resistance after microwave calcination is lower than after conventional furnace. To see the transparency of the device, nanofibers were electrospun on HP and substrate, and then CTA and microwave are treated respectively. And as a result, the heat treatment device was found to have a much higher transmittance than initial state device. Furthermore, the flexibility of the device was checked through the bending test. As a result, it was confirmed that there was no damage on the nanofibers even when bending the sample up to 10 millimeters. So in conclusion, the sequential process using high efficiency microwave calcination and argon plasma treatment is expected to be applied for transparent and flexible optoelectronics based on ITO nanofibers electrodes. Thank you.